Hi and welcome to cloudacademy.com's video series on Amazon VPCs, virtual private clouds. In this video we're going to compare VPCs with traditional locally deployed server networks and explain why in some cases VPCs can make a lot more sense. A virtual private cloud is designed to provide identical security, connectivity, and functionality that a physical network can give you, but in the cloud in a way that proximity, being in the same building or even country as your coworker, is not a factor. You can deploy networking resources and connectivity to anyone, anywhere. The main elements of a regular traditional physical network that the VPC is really good at replacing are mostly represented by level three of the OSI model's seven layers, the networking layer. Let's take a look at those elements of a network which the VPC is particularly good at replacing. The computing resources that provide services to your users can in most cases be replaced, not strictly speaking by the VPC, but by the virtual computers that you can deploy through Amazon's EC2. Interface devices, every network computer has to have a network interface connection whether it's wireless, Wi-Fi, or wired, cables and wireless connections, wireless routing devices, routers, routing architecture like subnets, network gateways, and firewalls, whether physical or software, all are critical elements of a traditional network, which all can be replaced by a VPC. The benefits of using the virtual network that a VPC can provide include the simple fact that you don't need the physical inventory, the infrastructure, and the hosting costs that go with housing a traditional network. That means you won't have to worry about upgrade costs, about maintaining hardware which can unexpectedly fail, about cabling through sometimes difficult to access parts of your physical structure, all these elements are naturally and natively taken care of by the VPC. You can also seamlessly network as closely and easily with co-workers in a different country as with those in the next room. This can enable a distributed private intranet that is, a single company that has workers and offices around the world could share resources and share connectivity across the entire company while maintaining pretty good privacy against malicious or accidental intrusions. AWS VPCs are also fully integrated with all other AWS services. So whether you're using S3 storage or of course, EC2 instances or database services through RDS, you can easily move data and connectivity between any one of them through your VPC to any other part of the VPC. Now, not every use case will necessarily point to VPC. You have to calculate your costs. The full connectivity that a large institution might require is not necessarily going to be cheap, but you have to remember that a physical server, when you would consider the cost of rack space, cabling, firewall hardware, could easily cost $10,000 or more up front, and then maintenance and power costs along the way. So doing a careful cost-benefit analysis will often suggest that working with a VPC like Amazon's is highly recommended. In the coming videos, we're going to explore some of the practical applications of a VPC and how to create and manage the configuration.